what is Linux? I will quote directly from Linux.com. Linux is actually everywhere. It is in your phone, your thermostats, in your cars, refrigerators, Roku devices, and televisions. It also runs most of the internet, all of the world's top 500 supercomputers and the world's stock exchanges. Linux is that strong. Even the missions to the space are powered by Linux. Linux is nothing but an operating system kernel which was developed by Linus Torvalds, a Finnish-American software engineer. While still a student at the University of Helsinki, Torvalds started developing Linux to create a system similar to Minix, a Unix operating system. In 1991, he released version 0.02. Version 1.0 of the Linux kernel, the core operating system, was released in 1994. About the same time, American software developer Richard Stallman and FSF made effort to create an open-source Unix-like operating system called GNU. In contrast to Torvald, Stallman and FSS created the utilities for the operating system first. These utilities were then later added to Linux kernel to create a complex system known as the GNU or Linux, or less precisely, just Linux. Linux is used in every single Android phone. The kernel of Android is itself based on the long-term support, aka the LTS version of the Linux kernel. Linux has tremendous amount of security. This security is mainly because of ownership in Linux. System files are kept under the ownership of root. So if a virus gets into the system, it needs root permissions to alter system files. Moreover, the larger market share is largely dominated by Windows. Hence, hackers and virus creators target Windows devices mainly. It is due to this reason that Linux turns out to be much safer than other operating systems. There are many developers working across the globe and contributing towards Linux. It is an open source operating system and hence the developers often suggest edits in case something is found vulnerable. This again helps Linux to stay secure. Customizability Linux is the alternate term that can be used for freedom. You can change the code of the operating system. You can make it look like what you want. So Linux can be tuned like Windows 95. The next day you can make it look like Windows 10 and the other day it can be themed like the Mac OS. EXE files. Linux has great advantages over other operating systems. Still it does not get much support. Companies make drivers and softwares targeting Windows because of its large market share. But Linux even has a solution to this problem. WineHQ is a software which converts exe file commands into native code for Linux and executes it. This software is undoubtedly useful, but one needs to figure out all possible ways to make an exe file work in the particular operating system. This process is tedious and often takes from days to months to figure out the correct settings. You can always use VirtualBox for running Windows itself inside Linux to run exe files. In spite of this enormous amount of power and flexibility, Linux is not popular. The market share of Linux is just 1.8%. Windows since the dawn of time has been dominating the market. Currently its share is 73.21%. The rest of the share almost goes to Mac that is 16.54%. The low popularity is because of many reasons. One. Windows has existed since the beginning of popularity of computers. Microsoft has become a household term now. Almost every laptop or desktop comes pre-installed with Windows and many people don't know how to switch to a different operating system or doesn't want to switch to a different operating system. Everything is much more simplified in Windows. You have few versions to choose and the names are self-explanatory, like Home stands for day-to-day -day normal use, while Pro stands for the professional use. While in Linux, there are billions of distros to choose and each available in different flavors, also known as the desktops. 4. People are not that interested to use a different operating system because they are very much familiar with Windows. Since the beginning, when you switch to a different operating system, you need to adapt yourself to the new laws. Number 5. Many are afraid of the terminal. While working in Windows, you probably never needed to use the command prompt. But in Linux, it is something which you need to get familiar in order to li use Linux up to its complete potential. Linux-based alternatives are there for Windows, ReactOS which has been in development since 1998. 
is unfortunately still in alpha stage now. Windows FX is another operating system that is very close resemblance to Windows in the graphical user interface. If you are new to Linux world, I promise you it's gonna be exciting here. I have several tutorials to install Linux. If you are searching for best Linux distro, let me tell you that there is nothing best. Every distro has its own advantages and disadvantages. It is you who need to make it more habitable. If you want a very stable version of Linux, go for Fedora or Manjaro. They test their versions before letting a new upgrade. If you want the latest bleeding edge version, go for Arc Linux. If you have been till here, then this video was a grand success. Consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more such contents. Turn on post notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thank you. See you soon.